Hey everybody. Well, I'm back with uh, another Lisboa video. Uh, the first video I did was uh, a tutorial and a solo playthrough, so you could see how the game plays solo. Uh, my second video was a three-player multiplayer video, uh, but still kind of solo, if you will, uh, just to see how an, a typical game of uh, Lisboa might play out among three different players, uh, albeit one conscious trying to keep track of uh, three different players in my mind. And I thought I'd come back and do one more solo play. Uh, the first time I did that solo video and the tutorial, um, I was still relatively new to the game. I had mastered the rules, but hadn't mastered the gameplay to any, and, and can't say that I still have mastered the gameplay, but I've gotten a lot better at it, so I thought I would do a video, uh, sh um, because when I, when I started playing the solo uh, version of Lisboa, I, I thought to myself, no way can anybody get that high, it's just not possible. Um, but uh, with practice, yeah, you can, so... Uh, I thought I would demonstrate that it is possible to do pretty well, uh, if not get to the highest level, which is Marquis right-hand man, get to King's favorite. Uh, and the whole trick is to really understand and know what uh, Lacerda is going to do next. Um, because his, uh, what he does is totally predictable and uh, it just works on, a, on an interesting algorithm so you just have to follow along and hopefully um, I'll uh, take advantage of what he's going what I know he's going to do in, in a better fashion in today's video uh, and hopefully it'll result in a better score certainly better than Chester uh, which is the lowest level all right uh, let's get underway. So I'm Larry Purple, and Lacerda will be the green color. Okay, so <clears throat> I get two clergy tiles, one of which I have to get rid of. For each decree card you receive, score one VP. Okay, well this is similar to the decree that says score one VP or one wig for each decree. Um, and if I plan on getting lots and lots of decrees, this could be really, really valuable at the end of the game. Uh, I don't know yet. Uh, what can we have here? You can build or upgrade a ship without having to pay goods. Uh, well, that's nice, too, because uh, getting ships uh, can be a nice chunk of uh, points at the end of the game. Uh, and certainly to get started, uh, wow, this is, a, this is always a difficult choice. Uh, well, I'd really like to hold on to this one, but, I, I, you know, it's way too early for me to know how I'm going to be playing. So uh, I'm going to get rid of this one as, as, much as, I, as much as it pains me and go with the free ships for now. All right, so it's round one, and uh, I get to go first. Uh, and I usually like to go after the builder right away, but let's check a couple things. Uh, let's see what's happening on the clergy track. If you play a royal builder card, receive two coins. M more money in this game is never a bad thing. Whenever you sell goods, each fabric is worth more, two, two extra coins. Ooh, one of my favorites. Take two royal favor tiles that you don't already have. All right, well, I'd like to get to that. Uh, where is Lucerta? Okay, so Lucerta is going to first do a builder action, then a marquee action. Then he'll come back to the king on his third turn. And at that point, uh, this will be up here. His marker here will be up here. So, therefore, he will get that clergy tile on his third turn. So I have a couple turns to grab it before he does. Um, good to know. Okay, and let's, well, what's happening out here? I always like to find, where, find out where the five scoring column ended up. Uh, all right, uh, there's only one five dollar bonus. 
reward over here on tools those are always great and one over here uh, so there's you know in the best games there's usually three of these two on uh, you know one on uh, two different stores plus a um, public building uh, those are great uh, just for that extra cash okay so I am going to just start with a builder card uh, and um, I see this one has three influence on it so I am I'm sure I'm going to use up my influence pretty quickly here so I'm going to hold on to that and I will uh, I will play this one so that will cost me one influence and uh, of course I already have a starting ra a random starting plan so I will uh, begin here with uh, some more officials I anytime I'm placing officials I like to place them in the next couple offices that the uh, uh, that Lacerda is going to be entering so I'll put one in the builder and one in the marquee since Lacerda is currently over here and he's going to be doing the builder next all right and now we're uh, going we're going to place a store so where do we want to place that well, I'd like to get into the five scoring column. Uh, let's see, take a look at here's the first public building. Oh, it pays. It scores on books and tools. Uh, so it would be get an extra rubble cube or take a decree. It's a little early for me to be focusing on decrees. Uh, because I haven't I'm not seeing yet where my game's going so I think I'll start with a bookstore um, and I'll play a, a build a bookstore here in the four scoring column and I'll get two rubble cubes instead of just one for building this bookstore so I will probably take uh, this earthquake cube uh, when I'm for my store to keep the cost down therefore uh, I'll want to take fire or flood from the rubble pile and the, frankly there that's all there is in the rubble pile um, I don't know I'll take a fire for now and now I'll take the earthquake cube and that will let the cost the cost will be one two three four five six plus three nine dollars I have ten not a problem won't have to dip into my influence Okay, so we're going to take this earthquake cube two thirds of the way toward my first rubble set, and I'll spend all nine dollars out of cash. And uh, for my house, uh, will I usually like starting in either the production? Or, I mean, this is a very valuable benefit. But sometimes you can get the same benefit in a clergy tile. Of course, sometimes you can get this benefit or this benefit in a clergy tile as well. I've already got this one. So I'm going to go with uh, extra production, which will become very important later on. But frankly, as soon as I need some extra cash, it's going to be important. Okay, so that scored me four points, and I'm at nine. And now for my refill, I'll take um, uh, I'll take a marquee. And I didn't even check uh, the favor situation, but it looks like both uh, uh, both Lacerda and I have the same king favor, so we'll be we'll be following each other on um, on visits to the king, which is often better as long as you've got the plan and you've got the officials ready to go uh, so the favors are nice obviously it's it's ideal situation you want to use a favor to get the main action to build a store get a decree which is pretty easy to do uh, or open a public building so in order to use a favor to build a store you've got to have a lot of cash on hand and in order to build uh, open a public building with a favor you've got to have your officials and a plan ready to go so uh, 
Uh, and of course, right now, I've already uh, uh, gotten rid of most of my cash here, but I am ready for to follow him on a favor, uh, with a favor to the king. However, he's not going to be getting there for three turns. Uh, he's going to be starting with the builder, then to the marquee, and then we'll go to the king. So by then, I don't know what the situation is going to be. We'll have to watch that. All right, it's Lacerda's turn. Here he goes. So there he is at the king. And he's building a store. And the only other place where he can get some points, which is uh, on the tool side. And the advantage of my store over his is that books uh, provide nine points for the majority uh, versus tools, which only provide six points for the majority. Uh, now, in order to look at planning really far ahead, there's a couple important points if you want to do well on the solo game. First of all, you've got to have majorities. Um, and I presume that doesn't mean, it's. I think it's safe to assume, that doesn't mean having a tied majority, but rather an outright majority uh, at, in at least two, um, two goods. Preferably three if you want to get to the right-hand man. Um, or woman uh, level at the end of the game. That can be pretty difficult, but uh, hopefully we'll at least make it to King's favorite. Uh, and you have to have a lot of cash on hand, too. Yeah, I think you have to have at least 20 bucks in your coffers uh, in order to do well, in order to score well. So uh, those are the things uh, uh, that, are, that are important to keep in mind. Obviously, majorities at, this, at the moment Cash we can do at the last minute if necessary. Okay, so it's round two. And uh, so now I don't have money. It's a little early for me to go get decrees, so it means I'm going to be going to the king. Uh, and that will use up my plan, and it will use up my um, officials. So I'm not sure what's going to happen as far as that my favor is concerned, but he's definitely going to follow me here. But hopefully I can use the favor in such a way, well, he, he can't benefit any longer from his public building. So hopefully I can place a public building that will benefit me, but won't benefit him on his next turn. And it will force him to play somewhere else. So what uh, public buildings are out there? There's a gold and a gold and a tools. Well, that doesn't help me or him. But I would like to get the five dollars, and I currently have a blue plan. So that means gold and tools here, and that. Oh, there is another. Uh, so that risks him going and grabbing this five dollar uh, bonus. So I have to get to that before he comes back to the builder in two turns. Or three, I'm losing count. Okay, so we're going to uh, open a public building on this spot. That'll get me a blue uh, uh, rubble, and that will allow me to complete my first rubble set. Okay, so we'll visit the king with, um, with this card. Now my influence is down to two. I'm going to have to do something about that and my cash situation pretty quickly. Oh, so here's our opportunity to move the cardinal and grab those extra favors. So we're going to move two spaces. So I've got two. Here's the main clergy track. I've got an extra one here uh, to make up for the fact that my player board covers the main track. And now I'm going to grab uh, these extra two favors. Great. So I've got a full set. And now we're going to open a, a blue public build, equip the site for the new public building. It's going to be right here where I can get five bucks. That's probably not enough to build another store unless I also go next for this. Maybe that's what I'm going to do. We'll see. Uh, so we'll build here. We'll get a rubble set. And another earthquake. And there go our officials. So we haven't scored for this. 
but uh, we're getting ready to score for this when I build over here. And so here goes Lacerda now following my, uh, following my turn with the king. And yes, he, he couldn't play uh, his public building anywhere that was going to help him. So he just plays in clockwise order starting from this corner. So this was occupied. This was occupied. So we went into there. All right. And I'll refill my hand with, uh, let's see what I have. I usually like looking for cards that provide nice benefits at the bottom. So I think I'll go with the king. I'll take that marquee card. And now Lacerda is going to be visiting the marquee, so he'll grab most rubble and two per north green public, which is fine. It's too early for me to uh, be thinking about decrees. I like to wait until I'm at least a third of the way into the game to see which way my game's going. Oh, so he's building the first ship, which, uh, should, of course, should not come as any surprise. That was uh, certainly predictable. Uh, that will leave it to me to build the only other ship in this period of the game, which is the size 2 ship. Now, do I want to follow him to the marquee? And like I said, it's a little early for me to grab... The, decrees but since I have the build chips for free I guess I will use this opportunity to build a ship so I'm ready to sell goods when I need money and fortunately it's always nice to let him build the size one ship and then come in after him and build the size two ship uh, so that's what I'm going to do build the size two ship with my favor, my influence drops to one, but that will be, I'll get three more influence from the ship in a second. I'll put my ship over here. So my influence is back up to three and nothing, nothing too, too great to uh, brag about. Okay, but it is my turn again. Because I was just following. So I got two turns in a row. And uh, I think I will go with my plan for using this $6 and the $5 from this location to build a tool store and score off of this public building. So we're going to go back to the builder. Uh, this is a nice, uh, this plus three influence is uh, always nice. But I want to get to the builder and get another store on the board. So uh, we'll visit the builder. Uh, do I want a blue plan or a green plan? Uh, not sure it makes too much of a difference for now. But I also need officials. And if I go for this $5 spot, I'm not getting officials or a plan. Uh, I think for now, I'll just take a plan. I'll just take a blue plan. They're both pretty cheap as far as number of officials is concerned. And as promised, we'll build a tool store in the alleyway here to the east for this $5 spot. Okay. Now I uh, normally take earthquake, but I already have an earthquake rubble, so I'm going to take a fire rubble, and I'm almost uh, to my second rubble set, which will end the first period. For my wooden house, I'll. Uh, oh yeah. How much was that store? Probably fourteen bucks. Three, two, four, six, nine, five, fourteen bucks. That bottomed out. Yeah, I only had uh, eleven dollars in cash after getting the five, and I needed three more bucks, so I'm bottomed out here. 
So clearly my next turn is going to have to recoup some influence and hopefully some cash as well. Okay, well, uh, for my um, house, I'll continue in the production column. So I'm up to 13 to 9 as far as wigs is concerned. <clears throat> and what do I want to refill with? I guess another builder card since I'm out. I'd like to make sure I have at least one of each. And now, what's Lacerda up to? So here he is visiting the king. He's going to visit the uh, clergy. And uh, one, two, he's going to take this clergy tile, which is fine with me. I don't know how often I'm going to be hiring state officials. Usually I don't have that much cash on hand, and I don't want to spend them toward officials. Um, and I have, a, I have a favor, so I'll be following his visit to the king. And... Uh, I might trigger church scoring on my turn. Anyway, let, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, so let, let's let him... Uh, where, and where's he going to open his public building? Uh, he's going to use... Um, he's still at the top, so he's going to use this green public building. And he'll probably put it uh, to the north, I gather. No, he won't, because it has tools and books. So if you put it here, uh, I'd score. Uh, we both score. If you put it here, we both score. So he's just going to put it up here. He doesn't like to have me score. Or if anything, he likes to score more than I do with a public building. All right, go ahead. So he moves the clergy to spaces, he grabs that tile, and he builds up there in the northwest corner. And so, how am I going to follow him? Well, I would, of course, I would like to follow him by opening a public building, but I don't have the money, nor do I have the officials. Um, nor do I even have a, no, I have a plan. Yeah, I do have a plan, but a plan by itself is not going to help. What could I get with the clergy? Well, I could trigger church scoring and get some points. And uh, let me play a royal builder for the royal court, receive two coins, get a discount of one influence. Uh, both of these provide three points. I probably will just grab them and use them uh, for church scoring. So I'm going to uh, use my favor to just visit the cardinal. Uh, but, hey, three points is three points. I'll move two spaces to trigger church scoring. And I'll just grab this favor. Worth three points. I obviously won't score it until we actually do church scoring, but I think that's going to come up right away because he's not going to be following me. Uh, I'm following him, so... Uh, Grab that. He completes his turn, and now we're doing church scoring. So clearly this one's going, because I've got the benefit from it already. So there's three points. This is the one I want to get rid of. That's three points. And, of course, when he takes his clergy tiles, he scores on them immediately. Um, he doesn't use clergy tiles. Uh, do I want to get rid of this? Uh, probably, because in the immediate future, I when I build my next door, I'll grab this one, maybe. So my next upgrade is free. Uh, but I don't have to worry about that until the second period comes around, um, which will be soon, uh, because I'm already into going toward my second rebel set. But right now I'm laying back a little bit because I, on my next turn I'm going to be just getting cash and uh, influence because I have none of either right now. Uh, so I'll go ahead and discard this tile. I'm done with it. So there's another three points. 
And of course, he scores on uh, my influence. So I'm back up to two. Wow. And he's uh, he's up at six for his ship and my ship. All right, so we're going to be playing to our portfolio here. What benefit do I want? Well, I don't need a ship at this point. There are no ships to be had. Um, some officials would be nice. I'm done with moving the Cardinal for now. Uh, I didn't see anything coming up here or here that... Uh, my next, the next big tile I have my eye on is this one, which scores an extra point for rubble sets, because uh, that could be worth four points at the end of the game. So I guess I'm going to be going with the officials. So let's play this to the portfolio, and uh, anytime I place officials, I place them in the two offices where he's going. So that'll be the builder and the marquee. And now, for some desperately needed cash, uh, I will sell whatever goods I have. So I'll sell a gold to my ship. And I'll sell a, a book. Or a fabric. I don't think it matters too much. I have size 2. question is, am I going to build a his ship? And that'll give him a point if I do. But uh, right now, 24 to 12, that's a pretty good margin. So I will go ahead and sell a book to his ship as well. And all ships are now setting sail. But I'm going in to the next turn with a 24 to 13 uh, margin. But he's about to visit the builder, so he's going to close that gap pretty quickly. And I suspect he's going to be building a gold store because of all those um, gold public buildings that got placed. However, uh, and, and the one he just built up here in the corner is only for books, and, and he's going to go for that five, he wants to go for that five scoring column. All right, anyway, what am I grabbing here? Uh, plan, favor, favor, I think I'll grab a plan. So I have a favor for the builder, and this is why I needed the cash, because he's coming around. So if I'm going to follow him, <clears throat> I'm going to need plenty of cash. And maybe I can do two builds in a row with that 18 bucks. All right, let's start it. Go ahead. So uh, gold store in the five column, is that what he's doing? Indeed, that is what is he, he's doing. So he closed the gap. It's now 24 to 18. But I'm going to follow him. And uh, build a store of my own. So. I'd like to start making an inroad into fabric. Unfortunately there is nowhere to score fabric at the moment. But that means. That just means that. He won't be going for Fabrica anytime soon, so that will give me a head start into getting my um, second majority. And if I'm going to take Earthquake Rubble, so what do I need? I need Flood Rubble to end the period. So may, my eye is sort of heading over here or over here. So this scores 5, this scores 4. But maybe I can grab a couple decrees. Hmm. No, I need the I want the rubble cube in order to end the period. And I'll take the earthquake cube to reduce the cost because I got an earthquake cube here and an earthquake cube here. <clears throat> Yeah, I think it's going to be a fabric store right here, and I'll end the period by going to the rubble pile for this reward. Okay, that's the game plan. Fabric store here. I'll take my flood rubble from down here. 
get my second rubble set that will trigger the end of the period and now I'll take a earthquake cube in order to keep the cost down so what am I looking at here three four five six five is eleven I've got eighteen bucks uh, that might not leave me enough to build another store on my next turn but we'll see So 11 bucks, um, I'll just pay that outright. I gotta continue to. Boy, I, I, the only times that I ever have lots of influence at this stage of the game is uh, when that plus seven influence clergy tile makes an appearance. Haven't seen it yet. I'm not sure we will in this game. So I'll just pay outright. And now, because I have just triggered the end of the period, and I probably will like will uh, use that opportunity to uh, discard this card and build a ship to upgrade this to a size three, I will uh, use this house so my next ship upgrade is free. And hopefully that I, I suspect that's coming up really soon. Okay, he finishes his move. We score for our rubble sets, so it's 30 to 24, pretty close. Uh, and now, what am I getting rid of here for benefits? So I can get either a, a cloth or a plan, and um, obviously I'm going to grab a plan, probably a green plan, since I have a blue one right now. So we're going to grab a plan, green plan. So this card, I will discard just to replace it. I usually like to replace all my cards at the end of the period and go with all new purple cards, because purple cards are just better. Uh, it just means that I'm banking on getting a nice uh, variety of purple cards as opposed to all just all builder cards or all marquee cards. That's a, that's a little bit of a risk, but I have no big need right now to do a particular kind of turn on my next turn so uh, I'll just get rid of that and now we'll do our ship upgrade for free and we'll just do an upgrade so that gets me back up into reasonable territory with four influence And now I get to move the cardinal one space. Uh, oh, and this, yeah, only one space. So I'm not going to get to this tile, which is the one I really want. Well, let's see. Judging that I don't have enough money to build a store on my next turn, and I probably will want to visit the king, both of these buildings are the same uh, I can score off my fabric and maybe complete another rubble set if I go up here which will get me back to the cardinal which will only inch me closer to the one I really want all right but I can if I grab this Actually, no, if I grab this, if I go to the king on my next turn, then I'll get two extra coins. That'll bump my money up to nine. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking that. And I'll get rid of this card and hope I get a nice uh, diversification of cards, selection of cards, uh, of purple cards. Uh, it's always a little bit of a gamble, but let's see what happens. So I got one of each uh, noble, so that's, uh, that's pretty good. Can't complain about that. Okay, so first period over in four rounds. That's pretty fast. Uh, I wonder if this is going to be a fast game. It's going to be tough, though, to hold on to uh, very slim majorities. Uh, remember, we got to have so I have a majority in books, I have a majority in tools, and I'm tied for majority in, I'm sorry, books and fabric, tied for majority in tools. If I can get another house, trouble is, he's always catching up. 
this is uh, it's going to be tough to pull this off. To get three, uh, to have three majorities instead of just two is really, really difficult. I don't know if I'm going to pull it off. Anyway, what am I doing? It's my turn. Um, I have seven dollars. I have a green plan and a blue plan. which get me the same thing, so I'm going to be able to score on my fabric store, five points. All right, I think we're visiting the king. I'm kind of tired of going back to the mobile, the no, I'm sorry, back to the clergy, but I do have to get this, maybe now is the time to get this, uh, this tile. Since I'm visiting the king, I guess it is. <coughs> Keep uh, doing going back to the noble because the tiles are so attractive. But I, generally speaking, like to get favors. Uh, but I can't turn down four points. <coughs> All right, let's go grab this tile. Okay, so we got the tile, and now. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. We have a plan, each type of plan. Both of these buildings are virtually identical. They are identical. Uh, well, identical as far as color, not identical as far as building. That's the, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. But they both are gold and tool double colored public buildings. So I'll just go with blue. I, think it, I don't think it really matters. And we're going to go to the north of Fabric Street so I can score five points. And oh my goodness me, I guess I'm going back to the clergy. Oh, <sighs> uh, okay. Wow, I've completed my third rubble set in round five. That's unheard of. I have a feeling I'm going to probably have to stall this game. Because uh, where is he? Well, he doesn't have any favors. And he's going into the Marquis and the King. So if I can get a... Oh, the trouble is I don't have any um, decrees. I have no decrees. And I'm going to need decrees if I'm going to make sure I end up with the victory here. Because I don't think... Uh, I'll get the majority points, but the other big chunk of points... A victory is number of officials um, completed pl on completed plans, and he usually beats me at that unless I have the favor the clergy tile that gives me one extra official per plan. Let me just see where we stand on that. Yeah, see, I only have three officials. I'm sure he's got me solidly beat. beat. He's got three, six, nine. That's effectively eleven officials. Yeah, so he's going to grab that those fifteen points at the end of the game. I'm going to need decrees in order to stay ahead of him. So uh, I'm not ready to end this game so soon. Anyway, uh, I can only grab one clergy tile. Fortunately, it's a decent one. Your ships are worth plus two influence. I'm going to need influence uh, pretty soon because this four is going to fall pretty rapidly. So, uh, yep. And I'll refill my hand with... got two builder cards already. Well, not another... <laughs> another visit to the... Uh, Oh, possibly an opportunity here with this car to um, easily upgrade my ship to size 4 before he gets it. Where is he? He's going in here. This is still on the bottom, so he's producing. So he's not going to be building ships for a while. Yeah, I think I'm going to grab this king card. Okay. Uh, so Lacerda is visiting the Marquis, and he's grabbing more decrees. Who knows if he's grabbing decrees that uh, I would prefer to have. Maybe maybe it's time I get some decrees here. 
I was thinking about going back to the builder, but I've got three rubble set markers in the marquee. Uh, that's potentially six decrees. It's high time I started getting some decrees. So uh, I'm going to assume there's something there that I'm going to like. So we'll visit the we'll visit the uh, marquee. Okay. Oh, and I could. Do I want to build now, or uh, build a ship, or produce? Well, I have a ship card that gives me a ship favor, but I don't have a card that gives me a produce favor, and I don't see any on the horizon. So I think. I'm going to produce at this point. All right. Books or fabric doesn't really matter. They both are priced at four. I am not into gold stores yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to get over there or not. Unless it's a, I, see, I, he, he already has one. I'm going to need two just to get the majority on. I, I have an easier chance of getting a majority on tools than I do on gold. Okay, yeah, so we'll take an extra book. And now for my decrees. So that's four points. That's three points, but I'm really on a uh, two per west blue. That's worth nothing. One per, that's two points. Five for the most stores would be nice. Not that's not going to happen. That's not happening. So let's take two for your C store. That's worth a definite four. And for this other one, I probably should grab. Well, he's not getting to this anytime soon. If, when he grabs decrees, he's going to grab these two. So for now, I'm just going to grab one per store. But with my eye on five for the most stores, if I can keep my lead going on stores. Okay, and we'll refill with another marquee. And what's he up to? So he's visiting the king. Uh, church scoring, he's going to trigger church scoring. Okay. And he's going to build a gold fat. He's going to build, open this public building, and he's probably going to put it uh, over here to score on his gold store. Okay. So triggers, uh, church scoring has been triggered, and there he goes. He he scores on his gold store. He's closing the gap on points on wigs, and now it's church scoring. And I don't have a lot that I want to really get rid of. Um, I guess I can get rid of this. I I do need to get uh, some some influence here. So this is worth one. I'm only getting measly amounts of influence. So this is only going to get me up to five. At least it only mean, at least it means it's giving him measly amounts of influence too, because um, he mooches off my influence. All right, so I'm definitely get rid of, get, getting rid of this tile, but I don't want to get rid of that. Oh yeah, I have this. So this will okay. So this will give me five. This will bump me up to. Two, oh, sorry. So this is worth one. So that's worth three with the clergy tile. Four. So I'll get up to seven. I'll match his influence. So I'm going to keep these two clergy tiles. I've got enough to get the influence. So let's... Um, I'm done. So I do get up to seven. We're both at seven influence now. That's a good situation to be in. And now it's round seven in my turn. And uh, I guess it's, now's the time to go back and build another store before he gets ahead of me in the next turn. 
uh, or ties with me. I got I to gotta, gotta always stay ahead of him on stores. Um, that's pretty important, too, as far as if you're going to do well in uh, at the end of the game. So uh, I'll visit the builder with this card. So I have a green plan with no officials. So we're taking officials and putting them in the uh, builder and marquee's office. And now, so I've got one bookstore to his none, one fabric store to his none, and I'm tied on tool stores. But I kind of have my eye right here. Here's another easy way to get another couple of decrees right now without having to visit the marquee. Yeah, let's build another bookstore, cement that majority. It just means I'm giving him more time, though. But I'm worried that with only two decrees oh gosh you're always balancing so many different things here weighing so many different possibilities uh all right let's go with the bookstore here and now i'll get two decrees um oh one per green public is worth four points at this point and possibly worth more later so I'll grab that. And I'll get five for the most stores. Since I think I can just stay ahead of him. As long as he doesn't get too many builder favors. That's going to be the risk. And the uh, helper is about to go toward the bottom. Which means he's going to be getting a bunch of favors in a row. Um, yeah, let's go with five for the most stores. And, uh, earthquake, uh, to the east to reduce the cost. So what am I looking at here? Two, four, five, six, five, eleven. It's going to steal four influence. I'm going to go down, fall back to three influence. Yeah, there's no way to avoid that. So I'm at three influence, zero money. And I'll uh, go back to column three for my house. And I'll refill with a... Um, wow, five influence. Uh, I think I'm going to grab this one. Because I am going to have to go back to my portfolio at some point. I might want to build that size for ship. So I'll grab this card. And so here he goes back to the builder. And where is he going to build? Probably another gold store. So all I did not have the gold majority. That's fine with me. If I can keep him focused over there and away from my fabric and book stores, I'll be in good shape. The only risk is all these builder favors. He's, a, he's going to get his hands on in a couple turns. Uh, all right. So he does build another gold store. And, uh, wow. Talk about... Uh, See, this is why decrees are so important, because he will eventually, you, you're not going to hold on to much of a lead during the game with him, the way he plays. All right, round eight. Do I want points? Well, I don't have any money. Is it time to go to my portfolio? So I do have a green plan so I can get some points while I have the chance. Maybe I'll go to the um, king since he can't follow me. I want to hold on to this card for the ship benefit. Sound 
down to two influence. Uh, I'm grabbing a favor of my own or moving a cardinal again. What do we have? Whenever you open a public building, score two points. Well, I'm a, opening a public building now. This would be a nice two points to get. Uh, and this one, yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, boy, I have not been getting favors. Clergy tiles have been too attractive. All right, so that's an easy two points. I've got three favors. I've got to watch that. He's not going to be doing church scoring anytime soon, so i got to be careful about maxing out on favors. Um, hmm. Anyway, where am I going to build this public building? It's green, it's books, so it's going to the north of Book Street. That'll give me a pair of uh, Claude Rubble. So now we're just looking at Fire Rubble to trigger the end of the game. Oh! I get a favor. That was the... F oh, yes, there's a favor up there. Wow, I get a favor. Um, well, the easy favor to grab, since I have no money... I'm not going to have any officials. I'm not going to have any plans. I think the easiest favor to grab right now is the one for the Marquis, because I know I need as many decrees as I can get my hands on. And I scored nicely there. And now for my hand refill um, plan decree. Favor. Oh, we don't grab that. All right, so he's going to the marquee, and I will be able to follow his turn. Hopefully, I'll be able to get some good uh, decrees out of it. He gets three points for every one of his decrees. He doesn't evaluate them. He just gets three points per decree. Hmm. All right. So we're grabbing a couple decrees. Well, five for the most fabric stores is attractive, as long as that's a very slim majority I have. But I think I'll grab that. I'm maxed out on Earthquake Rebel, aren't I? No, I've got four, so that's four points. But since I grab Earthquake Rebel every time I build a store, this will be worth five points. One per decree. I'll want that too, it's probably. How many decrees does he have? He only has six. Let's grab this one for now, but I'll ha I have my eye on that one as well. It is my turn, so uh, I could go back to the marquee. But he's not going back to the marquee for three turns. So maybe it's time to go to the portfolio. Now, do I want the ship or do I want the money? Oh, I have a production car here. That's a great combo to have, be able to produce with the card and then sell after playing the card. Yeah, let's play this um, up here. So that gets me nice production. With my production bonus, because I get one extra of every good I produce. And now we're going to sell goods. 
And it uh, looks like books and fabric are the way to go. I'm not getting any gold. So I'll sell a book to my ship. What do I have? Size 3. I'll sell another book to that ship. And I'll also just sell another book to that ship. And now the question is, I'm not going to sell another book. I want to hold on to some books here. Uh, should I sell a fabric to his size 1 ship? And let him score a point. What am I at? Fifteen dollars. So this is going to put me up to eighteen. But I'm going to have to do another sell sell goods at some point because I have to get above well above twenty to make sure I cement a good um, rating on the game. You know, let's go ahead and sell a fabric to his ship. He's only getting one point. All right, so eighteen dollars is a nice amount for the time being, and uh, oh, here's a chance to get some gold. Uh, we'll grab that. Okay, so you're going to the king, which is fine with me, but now you're going to grab some favors, and that's not fine with me because that means you're going to be building a rash of stores. And he's going to start closing the gap on majorities for sure. It's going to be tough to stay ahead of him. So there's a favor. He builds another gold store. That's good. Round 10. So he's going to be building... Probably a store that I don't want him to build next. And uh, I could build now. Or I could also grab a size 4 ship and prepare, start preparing for end of game. I here on this. Where, where's my influence? It's pretty bad. Yeah, let's bring this card up here. Uh, I think we're going to bribe because we have plenty of goods. But if I want to build a ship, I think I'll produce, let's see, if I build a ship, if I build a, a, a new size 4 ship, I've got, it will cost me three goods. I'm going to have to produce first and then, all right, so we're going to bribe to produce with a book. All right, good. And now um, I'm hoping I'm assuming all those all that production is right. I haven't been watching it. I'm assuming my program does it correctly. And uh, now we're going to bribe to build a size four ship. And uh, this time it's not going to be an upgrade because I got plenty of goods and I can get lots. I can max out on. Uh, I think I can max out with my clergy tile and get a point and get all the way up to 10. I think my calculations are right. Mm, maybe not. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Let's put the size 4 ship there. Yes. Yeah, I got all the way up to 10. So, uh... Oh, yeah, because that clergy tile uh, works on both ships. So that's three influence. That's five influence. Ten influence. There it is. I think I went from zero to ten. Maybe from one to ten. But uh, regardless, I scored another point. 
a great place to be. Yeah, I feel much better being up here than I do at the bottom of the track. Okay, so I have to refill. Uh, I don't need to produce. Decrees are always nice. Oh, but I don't have a marquee card now, and I'm going to need to have one. Because I don't have a marquee favor. I'm going to have to get a couple more decrees. I want to get my hands on that one per decree decree. Because that will be worth a good uh, seven points, possibly more. Eight points. Yeah, so I have to grab that. So here he goes. He's going to start his rash of building. What's he going to build now? Well, I've got two bookstores. He's going to build a bookstore. So I'm, I'm, as long as I can keep him away from fabric stores, I'm okay. But he's got that builder favor in his back pocket. And I'm going to need to build a tool store, which means he's going to... Uh, uh, I don't know if I can stay ahead of him. Mm -hmm. All right, what are you doing? Taking officials, building a bookstore. Yeah, he scored twice. Round 11. Okay, I think it's time to bring this game to, to an end. I'm one red cube away from ending the game. I need to get one more majority. Oh, but i got to get more money. All right, let's get the money problem. Let's get the money situation out of the way. Um, and let's grab this gold. High time I get some gold. So let's... I'm done with influence, so we can get rid of that card. And now we're going to sell goods galore. And we're going to sell gold. Oh, I can, I can sell all sorts of goodies with my size 4 and size 3 ship. Okay, so we'll sell a gold. And we'll sell another gold. And I'll sell a book. And let me hold on to that last book for the time being. So I'll sell a fabric. And I'll sell another fabric. Oh, wait a minute. i got to get this guy to sail. Um, uh, it's all right. Get rid of the last book. I don't, I don't think I'm bribing anymore. We'll get rid of the last fabric. 54 bucks. I don't think I need to sell to him and let him get a point. So I'm done selling. And uh, now, <clears throat> got uh, now it's a matter of stalling until I'm ready to trigger the end of the game. And the question is whether I can get two majorities or three majorities. That's always the trick. <clears throat> well, let's grab the builder card. <laughs> so he's going to the marquee. Oh, wait. I'm done uh, selling. No, okay, I'll grab the builder card. Okay. <coughs> All right, so you're going to the marquee, but I don't have a favor, so I'm not following. You're taking most gold, which is fine with me, and one per any D, that's fine with me. Okay, so now I need to build a tool store, but he's got a favor. So he's going to follow my build. It's so easy for him to build stores because it doesn't cost him any money. <laughs> it pisses me off. Um, 
All right, let's use this card to visit the builder. I don't have plans or officials, so I'll get officials for now. And one's going to go there, and one's going to go there. And now a tool store is the most points. So there's points here, there's points here, there's points here. Um, do I, is there something that the cardinal will give me? One point per store. I don't know how many more stores I'm going to be building, though. Oh, but don't I have one per C store? Uh, two per C store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a build here. To get that, that'll be worth eight points now. Then for that decree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get a point for the store. Oh, now that's it for the clergy. Okay, so I'm done heading for the clergy. He's not going for the clergy, so the clerg we're not going to be doing any more church scoring. But uh, a lot of my um, clergy tiles now are for points, so I don't really have any that I need to get rid of anytime soon. Okay, so we've got to keep the cost of this building down. We'll take an earthquake. Oh, although I got plenty of money, I'm rolling in cash. Oh, and now I've got five points for my decree on earthquake rubble. Don't need to spend any influence. And I don't really care at this point where the house comes from. It's as good as any. And now he's following. And what's he going to build? What's he going to steal from me? So I've got a majority in books, fabric, and tools. And where's he going to build? He's going to build a bookstore, isn't he? Let's see if he can score off that building. He's going to build a bookstore on me. He's going to tie my majority on books. Yeah. And he closes the, the point gap again. <clears throat> and he's doing better on, on, on officials. I've got uh, seven to his eleven. Where's that clergy tile that gives me an extra official when I need it? That's the one I really would have liked. That would have that would have made a big difference because that counts as a majority too. I think I'm pretty sure it does. When the, the solo rules say you've got to have three majorities in order to be Marquis's right hand man woman, two majorities to be a king's favorite, and I'm assuming those are either store majorities without a tie or official majority okay anyway um, what am I refilling my hand with I guess it's going to be a builder card uh, so the, it's all going to be in the timing of when to trigger the end of the game What's he doing now? Going back to the king. And I've got no favorites. Favors. He's going to get another favor for the builder. Damn it. Damn it. I can't stay ahead of him. And there he goes. He takes the lead in points for the first time. I can't end the game yet. It's too soon. I, I need it. I need to. Oh, damn it. I can't stay ahead of him on majorities. I think it's 
going to be another bookstore. All right, I'm done producing. We're going to build. I'll take a plan. Oh, I have the officials. And I think there are... Let's take a plan. So we've got a two official and a three official. I'll take a green plan. That'll be nice. And that would be nice. So that's fine. I'll take a green plan. Not sure how much... How many times I'm going to visit the king. I may not visit the king again. All right, what's the best place? Where's the best place to build? Which my influence has six. We go here and build a bookstore. So it's two to two on bookstores. I've got the majority on tool stores, and I'm tied on fabric stores. Well, no, I've got the majority on. Uh, but he's going to follow this. Damn, damn, damn! He's going to follow me. So he's going to keep at my tail. He's not going to let me have three majorities. All right. It's going to be a bookstore. And we're going to take Earthquake Rubble. I'm not ready to end the game. Well, actually, I need Fire Rubble to end the game, trigger the end of the game, and there's no Fire Rubble to be had here. I think I maxed out on, on all the other rubble. Yeah, I maxed out on the Earthquake and Flood Rubble, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm paying 7 bucks, Plenty of money. As long as I stay above 20 And now here he goes. Building a friggin'. Oh no, that was me. <laughs> so what's he going to build? What's he going to do to me here? You're going to build a fabric store, aren't you? Shoot, there goes my majority on fabric. I can't stay ahead of the guy. Yep, fabric store. Scored twice. He's still in the lead, 76 to 70. And he's about to visit the builder. Oh, man. All right, uh, I'm not ready to trigger end yet, <laughs> so I have to go and grab a treasury card. All those favor builder favors. You're gonna come back at me on bookstores, aren't you? So I've got a majority. He's gonna take. Uh, he's gonna steal my majority of books. Yep. Score twice. Score three times. Wow. Big chunk of points for him. Uh, maybe I missed that. Not my, I should have grabbed that, shouldn't I have? Toward the end of the game, I start stop looking at all the possibilities. All right, so he's done with the builder. He has no more builder favors. But he's now, I have one majority, I think, at this point. So we're tied on fabric. We're tied on books, and I only have a majority in tools. I think the best I'm going to do is get two majorities here, folks. Yeah, let's end this sucker. <laughs> so let's build. We'll put a marquee, uh, we'll put a, a, uh, an official in the marquee's office. Oh, officials, I don't need a plan. I'm not going, well, I'm not sure what my, my last turn is going to either be a visit to the king or a visit to the marquee. 
All right, so I clearly, it doesn't really matter whether I get a bookstore or, or a fabric store majority. They, they're both worth the same points. Um, and that's worth books, and that's worth gold. Doesn't really matter. I don't think I have the, oh, wait a second. D. I don't think I have a D. I just have a C. Yeah, I only have a C store. So it doesn't really matter. So it's going to be, you know, just get the bookstore. Grab a book. Not that it matters much, but it will mean I can get the Fire Rubble. See, I wouldn't have gotten Fire Rubble if I went over here. That was That's the other point. Got to trigger the end of the game. Although it was going to get triggered soon enough, anyway. Alright, so $8 keeps me well ahead of the amount of money I need. Uh, again, I'll uh, just take this house, and now he gets, so I scored twice, but he's got the lead, so I'm going to probably end up going back to the marquee. Hmm. All right, well, the game, end of the game has been triggered, so it doesn't matter what I take. So he gets two more turns, I get one more turn. And what's he going to be doing? So he's going into the marquee, which is fine with me. And he's going to go one last chance to the king. So as long as I can keep him away from the builder, I'm happy. Never got his influence low enough for him to give up points. Okay. Last turn of the game. And uh, I think it's going to be a visit to the marquee. I mean, you might think, well, Larry, you need majorities. Why don't you build a, um, a, uh, a fabric store and get the three majorities you need? The thing is, with this game... Winning this game is not all is not is not the only thing you have to do in solo mode. You can win by one point and still do really really well. the The game rewards you for having a well balanced game, not just beating the computer beating the AI Lacerda, but having a well balanced game. That's why, for example, it insists that you have twenty Rais or more, um, and uh, uh, so, so points aren't everything. All you have to do is just beat the beat the AI by one point. But then beyond that, you've got to have the money. You've got to have so many stores. You're going to have to have more stores than the AI has. You've got to have a certain number of decrees. I think you have to have at least seven decrees. One, two, three. I only have six. So even if I got that third majority, it wouldn't help me. Um, if I pull up the uh, the solo rules here. Okay, so here we go. So King's favorite, these are the two top tiers. So Marquis' right-hand man, you have to have more you have to have more points, more stores than than Lacerda, three or more majorities, twenty or more money, eight or more decrees, and two or more ships. Oh I forgot about the ships, but I do have the two ships. And I will get uh eight, have eight or more decrees. So the only thing I'm gonna be missing out on is that third majority. But if I didn't get at least a seventh decree, then I'm not even making King's favorite. I'm falling back to court servant. So, so, so I have to. I have no choice. I have to go uh, with the Marquis and get my seventh decree and my eighth decree uh, because I do have the rubble set marker here. And if I go to the Marquis, I can. I'll, I can produce and get loads of books, loads of, and of course I have majority on bookstores, so uh, these are clearly the two, um, uh, the two uh, decrees that I'm going to pick up. So yeah, just want to keep hitting that point.
key to this winning the key to doing well on the solo mode is having a really well balanced game so you do well on money stores points decrees the whole shebang and of course majorities okay so uh we have to go to the decree uh, we have to go to the uh, marquee there's no two ways about it we're going to produce that's the only thing we could do is produce Six books. Wow, great. Okay, um, so uh, five for the most bookstores for sure, since I have that cemented. Four bookstores to his three. And one per book is great. Getting six points on a, getting five, six, seven, eight points on decrees are the best. And, uh, Refilling doesn't matter at this point. So he's going to go uh, one last ditch effort to the king. And where is he going to open? Not many places to go to. I think he's going to go here. To score on his tool store. Okay, let's see what goes on. Yeah, he goes to the to the clergy, but not. We weren't far enough. For, it would have been nice to have clergy scoring, so I could capitalize on all my clergy tiles. Okay, so he's in the lead, ninety to seventy-seven. He's going to get the officials' majority, worth fifteen points. So I'm counting on my decrees, and the fact that I've got twenty-eight bucks, I'm going to pull out king's favorite. But I don't have three majorities, so I'm not going to get, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to get Marquis' right-hand man. But I am going to beat him, all right? If he gets 15 points on officials, the question is, are my decrees going to make the difference? i got a, a lot of big scoring decrees. Yeah, I think I've got this locked up. Yes, King's favorite, 180 to 62. Whew. All right, so let's just take a look at scoring for those of you who are still new, relatively new to the game. So I, I started with 77 points, got out seven points for my two ships, a size four and a size three. I got four points per rubble set instead of three because of the clergy tile bonus. Got the most bookstores, but I had to split them on fabric stores. So I got two majorities, bookstores and tool stores. And some points on money. And then here are my decrees. So one per green public, seven points. Look at, oh man, this is what did it for me. Seven points on green publics, eight per C store. I had four C stores. One, I had seven stores which is you can the max is eight um five for the most stores five for the most fabric stores five for the most bookstores five for the earthquake rubble one per book six points there and the only second place on officials i knew that was going to be he started with 90 he never built anything other than that size one ship he did get 14 uh, wigs on rubble he gets a point per rubble cube that he collects. He had most gold stores, second most book stores, which is fine with me, but this is the burn this is that burns me that he stole my majority on fabric stores. Um Vital, if you're watching this, <laughs> would you confirm a couple things for me? When you say that uh that you that you need majorities I assume that doesn't mean tied majorities in stores, but that also would count uh, that official majority counts. <laughs> I know that um, Vital watched my first video that I did with my program. All right, so he got 30 points with decrees. There it is, most plan officials 15. I'm happy with that. I can't complain. 180 to 62, King's favorite. Anyway. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed this.
I think this is probably going to be my last Lisboa um, video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.